Harrison. We're here in Harrison County uh, at the Shags Run uh, Hunt Club. We're here today because we're trying to get a chapter started in Kentucky for the Rough Grouse Society, correct? Yes, and, and we are really excited about it. We've we've had a chapter here in the past in, in uh, the Lexington area, mm -hmm. and uh, with the Rough Grouse uh, initiative coming here to your state, we are, this is, time is perfect. This is, you know, we're very excited. What have you seen in Kentucky so far? Oh, you know, it's my pleasure to be here and I'm, I'm having a ball uh, uh, watching the dog demonstration. I, I have a 14 year old setter at home and I'm, he's way beyond learning anything new, but I will be getting a pup soon. So I was picking up some, some pointers there from That's David. Great. That's fantastic. So 55 years, you guys have been generating funds with the Rough Grouse Society now and uh, spreading that out in Habitat, I'm sure, and uh, all kinds of other projects you've got going throughout the country. Yeah, I mean, we pride ourselves that we are the sole voice of the early successional forest, you know, so we're, we're working with the federal government, we work with state governments and uh, uh, the, the, all the agencies to make sure that we get the proper cutting done because without the cutting, we're not gonna have the birds. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we work hard at that and uh, uh, we started a sister organization a couple years ago, the American Woodcock Society. Mm -hmm. So we're doing work uh, at both ends of the migrational corridor uh, for the woodcock and uh, uh, all the areas that we take care of for woodcock, the grouse benefit at the same time. The worst thing in the world can happen your wife goes over, no, and slaps that puppy. I get the dog, and I go out and I go, whoa. Well, whoa means no. Bang, he's away from it because he got reprimanded. Whoa's one word. Don't name your puppy, you know, with word symbols that, could, yeah. <laughs> Bo, Joe. I mean, I'll get a dog in, his name's Bo, and I'm out there hollering, hey, Bo, and he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Hey, whoa. You want to work him in towards the wind. <laughs> and he goes in there and I woe him and he hits that bird. I want him to think that them birds are out here. It's helped all dogs. I can take a dog that you know, doesn't know a whole lot. Next thing you know, you get them pointing. Dave Hughes, Chad Miles. Pleased to meet you. Glad to have you here in Kentucky. So uh, you were out here earlier and uh, did a demonstration with uh, with a world champion dog, uh, Buckwheat, right? Correct. Tell me a little bit about uh, how long it took you to train that dog to get it to that level. Long gone Buckwheat, 2014. Mm -hmm. Won the Grand National Grass Championship and he won it in Michigan. This dog, was started as a puppy by Lloyd Murray, a long gone kennels. He was hunted on woodcock and grouse, his development as a puppy, and Lloyd does a great job with these. And also, he had a friend, Todd Coulter, that worked with the puppy. Mm -hmm. And then he came to me when he was older. Okay. And we started the process of steady to wing and shot and breaking them. So you can teach an old dog new tricks. Oh yeah. <laughs> And as the development went on with this dog, he won twice the uh, what they call the National Amateur Woodcock Championship for Lloyd. He came down, and I always ran him every fall and every spring, and I won the Grand National, which is the ultimate, that's the trial you want to win, mm -hmm. national champion. And he's actually an amateur national champ on Woodcock, and he's a grouse dog national. We're here today with Ben Robinson with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Ben, your assistant director here in the Wildlife Division. Today it's all about rough grouse. Right. What are the plans for the Department of Fish and Wildlife here uh, in the state of Kentucky for rough grouse? Yeah, Chad, it's uh, pretty exciting times for grouse and grouse hunters in Kentucky. We're, um, we're on the cusp of a new initiative that we're getting ready to launch um, for grouse, particularly in the eastern part of the state. Uh, the first step is going to be to hire a new grouse program coordinator. Their, their main responsibility is going to be focusing on grouse, forest management, grouse habitat, things like that. And uh, right out of the gate, that person is going to be drafting a, you know, a grouse restoration plan, similar to what we've done with uh, our bobwhite quail plan. Tell me a little bit about what makes great grouse habitat. You know, grouse are a, they're a forest dwelling species, spend most of the time on the ground. One of the reasons the grouse numbers have been declining over the years um, is our forests, they're getting older. They're really aging and uh, 
you know, if you travel to Eastern Kentucky and you visit any of those areas, you'll see you've got a lot of mature, closed canopy type forest. Yeah. Grouse don't really like that. Grouse like pretty much the opposite. You know, you go in, you, you log some areas, you wait five to 10 years, mm -hmm. think about what that's the gonna look like. More it's the shrubs. It's gonna it. grow back really thick, mm -hmm. you know, uh, really shrubby. Mm -hmm. That's what we're lacking, so that's what we're gonna try to improve upon. Well, that's great. Well, I know we've got a partnership. We're, we're working here today with the Rough Grouse Society. I'm hoping for big things, and I really appreciate your time today, and thanks yeah. for coming out All and right, telling Chad. us about this great yeah. initiative. Thanks so Thank much. You.